Well, joining me in our newsroom is J.E. Eastwood, publisher of Desi News Magazine and Canada-bound immigrant. Uh, Eastwood, I want to ask you, as a journalist, you covered the 9-11 attacks extensively. Take us back to that day 10 years ago. Have things changed? Does, you know, what, what can you tell us? I remember that day very clearly, Angie. It was a bright, sunny morning, and I was at my desk working, and a call from a friend uh, and they said, uh, go watch the TV. And I turned on the TV, and then I saw uh, the first of the Twin Towers uh, in flames. And I thought, the first thought that crossed my mind on that day was, uh, please, please, let this not be by a Muslim. Uh, because uh, I come from a country, India, and uh, it's, uh, I've seen uh, many, many years of uh, communal disharmony in that country. And uh, people, uh, Hindus versus Muslims, Sikhs versus uh, the others, that, have, that has gone on and on and on for many years. I knew exactly in that instant what this would entail for, uh, for, for the entire Muslim community if it was done by Muslims. So, uh, so sorry to interrupt you there, but if we look at sort of the bigger picture, how would you say things have changed now uh, 10 years ago? That day was a beautiful day, but that uh, day was the last of uh, the last day uh, the world as we knew it ended, and uh, it's it's a new world today. Mm -hmm. And uh, we a more suspicious world, do you think? It's a very very suspicious world, and there is a lot of uh, uh, guilt uh, associated uh, with people, just guilt by association, mm -hmm. uh, just because uh, you know if a friend of mine uh, told me uh, she's a Muslim, and she says that I get onto a flight and if I see a bearded person getting on to the flight and I feel very scared and she's a Muslim herself and that sort of stereotyping the guilt by association that the us versus them uh, that is what has uh, has uh, you know uh, made this past decade a remarkable decade in the sense that uh, we have accepted the us versus them as a society right. and and we try, tend to tar everybody with the same brush just the other day even our prime minister Stephen Harper he talk, talked about Islamicism being the main threat uh, that Canada faces what he actually meant probably was the terrorists and the terror, terror related activities but by giving it that color of Islamicism it's an odd choice of word but giving it that 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 uh, that color, uh, he, he gave a whole new different meaning to it and that has gone uh, around the world, everywhere, wherever in the world you go. So when you talk about around the world, we certainly know that international landscape has changed. Parts of South Asia have been put in the forefront. We know India has, Pakistan has. Yep. If you could tell me quickly in, you know, 20 words or less, how you think things are going to look 10 years from now. Ten years from now, if we continue to polarize our society, the us versus them, uh, I think that we will drive more and more and more young people uh, into the arms of the very recruiters of terror. I think that uh, we will, in ten years from now, if things, if, if our fundamental thinking doesn't change, I think we will find more uh, uh, Canadians participating in, uh, in, in, uh, in terror attacks in Somalia, in the Middle East, in India, in Afghanistan. You will, their numbers are increasing and uh, just by buying more and more armaments and just by declaring war on terror, we are not going to end this. It is by inclusion. Right. Uh, that, that this is going to happen, and that inclusion, sadly, after 10 years after after 9/11, uh, that hasn't happened. And we should, even now that you know we have not lost much, we can still turn this thing around. There's, as you say, there's time. Ishwar, I appreciate you taking the time to come in on your Friday night. Thank you, Angie. Take care.